Hello. Next, we're going to take a look at an example of how we will design a common collector amplifier or emitter follower. I have uh, drawn the circuit skeleton here, and uh, I'm going to assume, for the sake of example, that we have a we're running the circuit out of a single supply VCC of 20 volts and with a quiescent collector current of half a milliamp. And I'm going to assume the following parameter values, a beta of 100 for the transistor and an early voltage of 100 volts, uh, pretty typical values. And I'm going to find expressions for the circuit, uh, small signal gain, input resistance and output resistance. First, as always, I need to design the DC biasing network. So DC bias. And I'm always going to follow uh, the same steps, similar steps to when we designed the DC biasing network for the common emitter amplifier. Step number one is going to be selecting the collector current, which in this case, I'm already given that in my design specs, but again, I won't always be given the collector current, so I'll have to select one. So I'm going to choose half a milliamp. Uh, then I need to select my emitter resistance and I want to select it in a way so that I will center the output voltage. Remember, the output voltage is now taken at the emitter terminal. So in order for me to get maximum output voltage swing, um, it will be best if I center uh, that, that uh, voltage at the emitter. In terms of temperature stability and beta stability, uh, we have seen already that that is pretty good. I mean, we, uh, we saw that increasing the emitter resistance, increasing the emitter voltage was good for beta stability of the circuit, was good for temperature stability of the circuit. Uh, in the common emitter amplifier, we typically set it to one volt because we didn't want to eat too much of our output voltage swing. But in this case, we can set it higher, and that's in fact good for our output voltage swing. So I'm going to select value of RE to center my output voltage. And by centering, it's going to be approximately uh, halfway between the two supplies, or in this case, between the VCC supply and ground. And so my RE, by definition, or by Ohm's law, is equal to the voltage across the emitter um, divided by the current, which is going to approximate as IC. Um, I want VE to be half of VCC. So this is going to be 10 volts divided by half a milliamp or 20 kilo ohms. So that's my first value. Next, I'm going to select values for R1 and R2. And again, in order to have my transistor turned on, I will want my base voltage to be sitting at 0.7 volts higher than the emitter voltage. So next, I'm going to choose R1 and R2 to set VB equal to VE plus 0.7 volts, or in this case, 10.7 volts. And so, um, for simplicity, I'm just going to go ahead and make R1 equal to R2. And what that's going to do is I'll have a, vo a voltage divider with two equal resistors. The voltage is going to split equally between the two. And so if I pick R1 equal to R2, uh, that's going to give me a base voltage of 10 volts, not 10.7 volts. Um, but I think, uh, you know, what I gain in simplicity is, is worthwhile. Uh, and the only thing that's going to happen is that instead of my emitter voltage being sitting at exactly 10 volts, it's just going to be sitting at 0.7 volts below that, uh, which is still fine. So I'm going to choose R1 equal to R2. Um, if you remember, when we were selecting uh, these values, we wanted to keep in mind that uh, we wanted R2 to be much smaller than uh, beta times RE. In this case, uh, beta times RE... Let me go ahead and write down. So I'm going to say for simplicity, I'm going to choose R1 equal to R2. And I want R2 to be less than or equal to one tenth of beta times RE. 
Um, and so that means I want R2 to be less than or equal to 200 kilo ohms. That will be one tenth of beta times RE. Um, in all reality, I'm going to choose 400 kilo ohms because that will give me a parallel combination of R1 and R2 of 200 kilo ohms. So I'll lose uh, uh, some in terms of my uh, base voltage stability, but I will gain, I will see my input resistance. So I'm going to choose R1 equal to R2 equal to 400 kilo ohms. Um, and that's it.